This is a level 3 ballistic plate made from high density polyethylene. Essentially, this is just a very tough plastic material. It's made in super thin strands woven together into sheets and it's pressed together and bonded. What we want to compare today is that this plate is in a good condition, intact, and this one is in a poor condition. I intentionally expose this plate to moisture, water, and outside physical forces. Are those plates even still providing any protection? Well, today we can test this. interesting results. No penetration, but this was expected. Uh, for majority of rounds, we used the Celerium below, FMJ, so normal bullets, sporting purpose, nothing special. And these are the 5 or 6 rounds for, from a 10 inch barrel and from 16 inch barrel. And this is the 308. Now for the AK, we shot an SMB round, which was the FMJ. And then I had two surplus rounds. One is, I think, Hungarian surplus and one is Chinese surplus. And those rounds uh, can be picked up by a magnet. Not just the casing, but also on the bullet. Which means that they have some kind of steel alloy in the bullet. Apparently, it made a bigger dent, but the plate was still able to stop those threads. Now, here you can see how this plate works. There are multiple layers of this thin, very strong strands of material, the high density polyethylene. And when the bullet strikes the plate, it starts to deform and it starts to delaminate all of those strands, all of the, those layers. And this process of delamination, it consumes a lot of energy. And while doing this, it also mushrooms out the bullet. And with enough layers, it will stop it. So this is why I'm so interested to see what will happen to this plate. It's already delaminated. You can see that all of the, the layers can move independently. And I'm interested to see what happens if I strike it here. Will it still work? Well, I'll be damned. 5 and 6 was stopped easily. Let's step it up a notch. We have a penetration, the 7.62 round, the Chinese surplus one, fired from an AKB-15 with a 16-inch barrel, made it true. If you look at the hole, you see that the bullet did not mushroom properly, and a part of it, probably the, the steel core, just continued going and did this tremendous damage over here. The 308 hit very near to the edge and very near to the 506 hole and kind of converged going through and it did pass but you already see a noticeable trace of deformation of the bullet so it was mushrooming. I bet that if I fire a 308 round here where the delamination is not that bad and the plate is still kind of intact, I think it will fold it. Let's try it out.
enormous back phase deformation, a big transfer of energy, but no penetration. High density polyethylene, it's one hell of a material, super tough, and even if it's waterlogged, and even if it's delaminated, it will still retain a lot of its capabilities. Sure, we got the penetration in the end, but you have to know that this plate was water tortured in my basement for half a year, and I had to physically move it to delaminate it, and, and I would say that this is extreme damage. But we were super surprised by results. This is a one tough plate.